Would you rather pay once for permanent access to Office 2021, or should your business sign up for a monthly Office subscription? In October, Microsoft launched Office 2021. It's a one-off payment and completely offline, which is odd because Microsoft have been really clear about trying to push everybody into their monthly subscriptions onto the Microsoft 365 Cloud. In this video, we'll dig into the five big differences between Office 2021 and Microsoft 365. With Office 2021, you can install it on one PC or Mac, and anyone who uses that computer is able to use the Office suite. You don't get access to use the mobile apps, and if you have more than one computer, then you need to buy another license for each computer that you use. You can, of course, change that one computer as many times as you like, but Office can only be active on one computer at a time with that license. In Microsoft 365, it's a per user model. And so each named person can actually install and use Office across five different devices. So that might be your laptop, your desktop, it could be your iPad, your iPhone, or any of your Android tablets. Any of those will count. With Office 2021, you get access to the latest version of Office, along with usually up to five years of patches, updates, and security fixes. When Office 2026 comes out, however, you would need to pay again if you want to move up to the latest version of Office. In Microsoft 365, you continually get the latest version of software, patches, updates, and security fixes as they are also included in your subscription. But so also are any feature or version upgrades as they come along, or any new apps which start to get bundled into the Microsoft suite. So long as you have an active subscription, you'll continue to benefit from the latest and the best version of Microsoft 365. With Office 2021, you get the full desktop download version of Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and Outlook. You also get Teams installed, although it is a cut-down version where Teams can't host meetings or collaborate on any files or projects. In Microsoft 365, you also get the full desktop version of the apps, and you get the online version of those same apps as well. It's actually a common misunderstanding that you only get the online versions. That's definitely not the case. You also get access to the full version of Teams, which is able to host internal and external video conferences, webinars, as well as collaborate on projects internally and externally. With Office 2021, there are two versions that we're interested in here, Home and Business or Office 2021 Professional. Both of those include all of the download versions of the apps that we talked about earlier, but the professional edition also includes publisher and access, as well as the rights to use Office in a remote desktop environment. So if you're thinking about terminal servers or Citrix, that's the version to use. In Microsoft 365, there are four versions ranging from online only here on the left through to fully functional with the business standard. Um, and that also includes the services that might replace your email server, file server, identity services, multi-factor authentication, OneDrive's in there for backup, and you get full Teams collaboration right through to things like the Business Premium Suite, which includes the advanced security features. Now, it's also worth noting here that only the Business Premium Edition includes those rights to use in a remote desktop environment. With Office 2021 Home and Business Edition, it will cost you around $249 for that one-off license, or $440 if you want to take the Professional Edition. Now, remember, you pay once per computer, and you really don't have to think about it again until it stops getting updates, or you want to upgrade to the latest version both of which will be in around five years in 2026. In Microsoft 365, the closest subscription option really to the Office 2021 is that Microsoft 365 Apps for Business. It comes in at around $99 a year and it gives you all of those desktop downloadable applications. It does also include OneDrive so that you do get that backup feature as well. But the most likely option for businesses is gonna to start to be something around the business standard or the business premium option that you can see right here in the middle. Both of those include the options to replace some of those on-premise file servers. So really the choice for you is thinking about whether you just need the Office suite for access to the applications or whether you need to start to replace some of those traditional on-premise server roles. Well, that's it for this video, guys. We will see you next time.